My 2004 Mustang V6 Cam Class Autocross project now has a stiffer chassis and more power than the day it was born. It's getting closer to being capable of carving corners around cones. But if it's going to be the most nimble New Edge Mustang on the course, I have to do something about the weight balance. From the factory, the weight distribution ratio is 57 to 43 front to rear. Ideally, you want that ratio to be 50-50. That's really hard to do in a front engine car especially one built on a platform that has its roots in the late 1970s. I know I have to add weight to make the 3,250 pound minimum in Cam C, I just have to be smart about where that weight goes. If I break the car down into three zones, I can look for mods in each zone that will help get my weight distribution closer to 50-50. Even though the V6 engine weighs about 200 pounds less than the V8, I still want to remove any weight I can from Zone 1, the area ahead of the firewall. It's okay to add weight in Zone 2, the area between the front and rear wheels, but I want to make sure that weight is as low on the chassis as possible. On a V6, Zone 3, from the rear wheels back, is an area where it's beneficial to add weight. The 100 pounds of additional mass from the IRS will increase my overall weight and move the weight distribution closer to 50-50. So far, I've added 8 pounds to Zone 1 with the strut tower and lower chassis braces. The Stifler's fit system added 42 pounds to Zone 2. The dual exhaust added 15 pounds to Zone 2 and 7 pounds to Zone 3. The rear shock tower bar added about 3 pounds to Zone 3. I know I'm going to be upgrading the front suspension and brakes. Most of those parts are heavier than the stock pieces, so I need to remove any weight I can from Zone 1. And, because a big part of this build is showing what these cars can do with a stock-style suspension setup, I'm not going to do a coilover conversion and a lightweight K-member. The first thing I'm going to do is swap out the stock steel flywheel for this Ram Billet aluminum one. It weighs 16 pounds less than the factory part, and it allows the engine to rev faster, getting you into the power sooner and giving you quicker acceleration. So not only do you shave weight ahead of the firewall, but you get the added benefit of less rotating mass in the drivetrain. Fully torqued racing makes this lightweight bumper support that takes 8 pounds off the front end. It's made from 4130 chromoly steel, and it's wider than other supports on the market, which keeps the corners of your bumper from sagging over time. These mods take 24 pounds out of zone 1. The fit system and dual exhaust added 57 pounds to zone 2, exactly where I want it, low on the chassis. But there's weight in the guts of this car that isn't helping, the seats. Combined, the factory front cloth seats weigh 104 pounds, and the factory rear seat weighs 20 pounds. A lot of that weight is at or above the waistline of the car. Losing mass high in the car means I can add it in low later if I need to make weight. I went with Corbo's Forza fixed back seats. They weigh 19 pounds each, and they require Corbo seat brackets that weigh 7 pounds each. Combined, you're saving 52 pounds over the stock front seats. Cam rules allow for the rear seats to be removed, provided the lower seat area is covered. You could spend $150 on a rear seat delete, or just do what I did and spend 20 bucks on carpet from a fabric store and cut it to fit the area. My 5 pound rear seat delete cuts another 15 pounds from zone 2. Ford Racing makes an aluminum drive shaft for the 99-04 Mustang V6. It weighs about 14 pounds. The stock part weighs 19 pounds. Like the aluminum flywheel, this mod takes rotating mass out of the drivetrain leading to quicker acceleration and getting more power to the ground. If you're doing the math in your head, I've actually gotten further away from the required weight of 3,250 pounds. The numbers add up to 3,049 pounds. But when I add the 100 pounds for the IRS swap, I get a lot closer. So where will the remaining 101 pounds come from? A big chunk will come from wheels and tires. Going from 16-inch wheels and 225 tires to 18-inch wheels wrapped in 275s will add about 15 pounds per wheel, 60 pounds total. The rest will come from bigger brakes and beefier suspension bits. 
Even if I have to add some ballast, I can put it exactly where I want it in zone 2 to help with balance. No matter what, this car will weigh exactly 3,250 pounds when it's done. The Ram Aluminum Flywheel is a really well-made piece from a company with a great reputation for quality. It doesn't come with instructions. You will need a set of dowel pins to align the pressure plate, and you do have to remove the drive shaft, transmission, and clutch to install the flywheel. It's a very involved install, but if you have a shop manual, a tranny jack, a torque wrench, and a very good friend, it can be done in your driveway. Any time you take the transmission out of a car, you should replace the pilot bearing, throw out bearing, and the clutch. Check your rear main seal. If it's leaking, change it. Check your clutch fork. If it's worn where it meets the pivot stud, put in a new one. If the pivot stud is worn, replace that too. Same thing goes for the bearing retainer. My car needed every single one of those parts replaced. If I let something slide, I would have had to take the transmission out again. It took me eight hours to do it all, but I won't have to do it again anytime soon. The fully torqued racing bumper support is, in my opinion, the best on the market. It comes with instructions, but they refer you to a shop manual for the steps to remove the bumper cover. It's not that hard of an install. Removing the bumper cover, the factory foam and factory support, and installing the FTR support will take about an hour and a half. The Corbo Forza seats offer fantastic bang for the buck. My driving style can best be described as violent, and I wanted seats that would hold me in place. The Forzas do that really well. Because they require specific brackets, you will lose your power seat function. I drive to and from my events, anywhere from 90 to 150 miles each way. The seats are comfortable, despite being fixed back, but by the time I get home, I'm definitely ready to be out of the car. I've had two sets of black seats, and they do tend to fade if the car is left out in the sun, but the set I've used for five seasons feels just as new as the set I bought for the ST. You can remove the old seats and install the Corbos in about two hours. The Ford Racing Aluminum Drive Shaft is a very well-made part. It doesn't come with instructions, but it's an easy mod to tackle yourself. Having said that, sometimes the drive shaft bolts can be really tough to break loose. Penetrating oil, or even a little heat can help. Just be sure not to melt the rear end pinion seal in the process. If you're doing an IRS swap into a V6, you will need to shorten the drive shaft by about an inch. Because the T5 has a 28 spline output shaft, you can't use a Cobra specific drive shaft. A local company cut mine down for $150. You will also need to change the pinion flange on the rear differential. The Cobra flange has a wider diameter bolt pattern and the holes won't line up with this drive shaft. It helps to have a tranny plug to prevent fluid from leaking out during the drive shaft swap, which takes about an hour. I've found that it's impossible to get a straight shot at the drive shaft bolts with a torque wrench, so I welded a socket to a 12.12 mm closed end wrench to get the access I need. Colin Chapman, the founder of Lotus, said adding power makes you faster on the straights, subtracting weight makes you faster everywhere. That's how the ST feels after these mods. Obviously some of that is due to the fact that the aluminum flywheel and drive shaft allow the car to rev significantly faster than it did before. Mash your foot to the floor and the tack needle rockets toward the red line. The engine just feels like it wants to play you get the sense it's waiting for your reflexes to catch up, the response is that quick. But what really struck me is how much more composed the car feels. I'm amazed at the difference taking roughly 20 pounds out from ahead of the firewall makes. There's a poise that New Edge Mustangs don't often have. It doesn't feel like it's going to push or go sideways. It feels almost effortless. Dare I say, a little like a Lotus. That's the power of balance. You can fundamentally change the DNA of a car by removing weight from where it hurts you and moving it to where it will benefit you. The Ram Aluminum Flywheel, Fully Torqued Racing Bumper Support, Corbo Forza Seats, and the Ford Racing Aluminum Driveshaft will absolutely help make your Mustang faster everywhere.